16 on 120. I'm gonna need assistance. Uh, San Fernando and uh, Osborne. I have a plane that went down onto the railroad tracks. 16 on 120. Confirm there's a plane that went down onto the railroad tracks. Let's across to Osborne. L120 is going to be Osborne San Fernando Road. I have uh, air fuel uh, leaking out and I have uh, one passenger still stuck in the uh, plane right now. You okay? Are you the only one in the plane? Yeah. Okay, just sit tight for a second, okay? We're gonna need an RA for a male. He's got to be 68 years of age, conscious of breathing, suffering from multiple uh, contusions and lacerations. Again, he's probably gonna to have to be uh, forcibly extricated from the uh, plane. What party advised? Is there a train? What's the train schedule? Hey, I need somebody to. I need somebody with flares or something to notify that train. Six at one forty, semi. Oh my god. One forty, you have a train. Stop that train. Six at one forty, Roger. We gotta get him out. 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 Just grab him! Just pull him! Just pull him! First time I saw it, it was probably half a mile away. The second time I looked at it, it was a quarter mile away. The last time I looked at it, it was probably 50 yards away or less. I wasn't even supposed to be working that day. I came in on overtime because we were short on officers or, or supervisors because of COVID. I don't normally take that way back to the station, but I did. It was a, a big relief that we all got out of it all, all right, you know, and scared. No, no major injuries to anybody other than, you know, Mark. So, you know, I see a train coming, I hear the, I hear the blowing of the train. Um, so well, adrenaline kicked in, I ran over to Mark. Uh, I tried to take the panel off the plane to try to make it easier to pull him out, but it was metal. Um, so I wasn't gonna come off. Um, at that point, I ended up reaching in, grabbing him along with the other two officers and we pulled him out. All I could think about was trying to get him to safety, you know, making sure we didn't, we didn't die all of us and uh, making sure I did my part to keep him alive. We were told the train's coming. We, we got to get him out. It felt like we were only there a couple minutes. And I always thought to myself, man, that's insane. I can't imagine uh, being put in that type of a situation to receive something like that. We tell a lot of the people already, they, they call us heroes. And I'm just like, I don't really feel like a hero. I feel like just another cop that was out there doing their job. Yeah, I just remember walking up and saying, hey guys, there's a train coming. We need to pull him out of the plane. And kept saying that, and I kept looking as it got closer and closer. So then I screamed as loud as I could, get him out now, and then pushed him, and then we grabbed him, and you know we all pulled him out. We got we got out okay. In my opinion, you know this is representative of law enforcement in the nation, and especially for the department. And I just see it as a great honor uh, to be awarded this.